Deciphering phrasal verbs, making the complex simple. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of phrasal verbs. They can be a bit tricky, especially when we talk about separable and inseparable phrasal verbs. But don't worry, we'll break down everything step by step, giving you plenty of examples and exercises to help you master this key part of the English language. First off, let's get a clear idea of what phrasal verbs are. Simply put, a phrasal verb is a verb combined with a preposition or adverb or both. Phrasal verbs often take on entirely different meanings from the original verb, which can sometimes be confusing. For example, the verb turn means to rotate, but when combined with the preposition on to form turn on, it means to start or activate something. Now, let's move to the crux of our topic. Separable and inseparable phrasal verbs. The main difference between them is whether the object, the thing or person the verb is referring to, can come between the verb and the preposition, adverb. Inseparable phrasal verbs, the object can come in the middle or at the end. For example, turn on the light, or turn the light on. But for inseparable phrasal verbs, the object can only come at the end. For instance, look after the kids, not look the kids after. Understanding a phrasal verb's meaning isn't enough. We need to understand how they are used in real-world contexts. Let's look at some examples. 1. Separable phrasal verb. Can you fill out this form for me? Here, the phrasal verb, fill out, means to complete a form by writing in the information. 2. Inseparable phrasal verb. She always looks after her younger brother. Here, looks after, means to take care of. These real-world examples help us to see how phrasal verbs are used in everyday language. The key to mastering phrasal verbs is practice. Here are some exercises for you. 1. Fill in the blanks with the correct phrasal verb, separable or inseparable. A. My brother always, blank, underscore 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 my homework for me. Does? 4. B. Could you please, blank, blank, this report for errors? Look. Over. 2. Create sentences using these phrasal verbs. A. Break down, separable. B. Get on, inseparable. Take your time with these exercises and keep practicing. That's it for today, folks. I hope this video has shed some light on the world of phrasal verbs. Remember, mastering them is all about understanding the context and lots of practice. So keep going, and you'll soon find that they're not as daunting as they first seem. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.